If Mega was in Grand Finals, do you think you could also win? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I prepared a lot for that. Did I see Jayma coming? Uh, honestly, no. But I knew how good he was because I played him before. I think he's like really, really nasty versus fast fallers, and he's still really good versus Marth, but not as polished as he is at the fast faller matchups. I mean, it's clear from playing him that he just has like the quality to be like one of the best players in the world. You, you can just tell who's gonna be the next J Mook. I don't know. I'm, I imagine there are a lot of people online who they have a lot of skill and talent, and they just need to show up. Uh, me versus Cody felt that was like. I had this big pit of stress <laughs> in me, and after I played that set, I felt more confident in my play. I was playing like, it was a good set, but I think I was really stiff when I played it. Uh, and as soon as I finished, it, it was definitely a top three set, yeah. Luckily, I was still uh, punishing pretty hard. The Hbox Nun set? Oh, I, I actually watched that one live. That was awesome. What match did I prep the most for at Genesis? Uh, in terms of studying, I would actually say versus Amsa. In terms of raw footage, preparation and play-wise, it might have been Falco or Fox. A lot of studying versus Amsa. Did I feel unprepared for any matchup in bracket? Uh, not in particular, no. I mean, I guess if I played some random low tier, I'd have been like, fuck. I actually, so, funny story, I played hardest round one pool of my life. Pools have never been harder, because all these people have tech skill and know how to punish. It's not like it used to be. Like, my first, my first set was against, it was versus a Marth that, like, definitely knew how to move and play. And then my second set was versus this guy named DP3, I think. He was a Dr. Mario, Dr. Mario main. And he was, like, up B canceling on my shield and, like, fucking... He was just good. He took the first dock versus me. And I was just, like, I was like, oh, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm sweating right now. I also, I dropped a game to Logos. So I think that was really important for me because I was playing on the stage and I dropped that game and I was like, all right, I got to get these jitters out of my system. Like, it was a good shock to the system to have that happen. Uppy cancel, not hard. Yeah, it's not, but he was still like, he was good. No, I think, uh, I think round two pool should be a best of five now. It's too, <laughs> uh, best of three is, I mean, best of three is good for viewership, I guess, because you get more upsets for sure. But competitively, I would want that section of the bracket to be a uh, best of five. Do I listen to music during tournament sets? I used to. I used to listen to music in floaty matchups um, because I like to listen for like Fox or Falco side B. But these days, I just listen to game audio for the most part. Uh, I watched a few of the top eight sets because I was warming up mostly during them. But I was like taking glimpses over at J Mook sets, and I feel like every time I looked over, he had a grab going, and he always killed out of it. So that was pretty crazy. Yeah, the Cody set was easily the most uh, stressful. If I lost to Cody, would I be scared of Glass's H-Box? I, gameplay wise, I'm perfectly comfortable versus H-Box. I think I still don't like the idea of dropping a set to him, which I need to get over. But I've done well versus him so far throughout the last couple of years, offline and online. Did I warm up expecting Cody for Grand Finals? Yeah, I was playing Moki, and then Moki, <laughs> Moki like looks over at what's happening on the screen. He's like, bro, are you sure you don't want to play my Sheik? And I was like, it was like 1-0, and I was like, no, I think Cody's got this. And then it kept, j Mook just kept like playing like fire. And he's like, are you, like, I can, I can go Sheik if you want. But you know, at that point, it doesn't matter. I just needed to move, so it didn't matter too much. How does it feel to be a two-time Genesis champ? I feel like there's a giant weight off my shoulders, honestly. I think especially winning a LAN event since Pandemic is something that I really needed. Even though I did win that Smash World Tour event, like, this one was more... This is like a super major, super major, so... I needed it for my mental, for sure. Jmook versus Co... That was some of the best punish game display I've seen in tournament in general, I think. Just in terms of raw efficiency. Do I think Jmook ran out of gas? I think... My style is in particularly is particularly good versus his. He actually reminds me. I know he like moves and punishes like Plup, but in terms of the way that he plays against Marth, I think he plays more like Junebug, which I have a lot of experience versus. In terms of how he would try to make me like panic from the corner, like you could see like he would try to like get me to like roll or like full hop out or stuff. Like he was reading these options super preemptively. Um, but I think I'm really used to that play style. When he saw Fox, he won Genesis. So when I saw that, what's the fuzziness? So when I saw that he went Fox last game, I literally, there was no hubris in my brain. Like, <laughs> I saw that he switched and I nodded my head. I was like, okay. I was like, let's see, let's see what this is about. <laughs> and then I played it and I was like, okay. I was like, okay. 
and then after I was like, that was really weird. I didn't like I can't pop off after that, so that was kind of a bummer. But I'll take it, man. <laughs> I'll take it. Like I literally warmed up with Vokey for six hours that uh that day. So the confetti afterwards was funny because I literally just did not pop off. I didn't know what to do with my hands, you know. Fucked up. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I played it off pretty okay, but I didn't have like enough energy to be like. Yeah! <laughs> Hbox would have popped. I don't know if Hbox would have popped off. No pop off can be classy. Yeah, I do not know how Nun did not pop off after his Hbox, the stomp on Hbox. Like I know that he doesn't like emote or react to stuff, but dude, you gotta you gotta budge a little bit, right? Because that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. I think Ed laughed under his mask. He did that motion where he was like, I think he like chuckled a little bit because he was, he knew that Hbox was like using tap jump so he couldn't like meter can. It's so it was so crazy. Thoughts on Hbox versus Mango? It was just lackluster. I mean, he just played like the w that might have been the worst I've ever seen him play in any tournament setting. I mean, Hbox to be fair, he hit his shit, but it was really bad. How did my Omsa set feel? I came prepared, but it's still a grind, man. Like, I have to be okay with killing him at 200% every stock. Once I'm aware of that, and it's like, okay, it's really hard for Yoshi to get a meaningful open up on me. You just have to have the mental for it. I was willing to F smash, yeah. You, got, you gotta find the right- If you can get one early F smash, which I got in that set, especially on Dreamland, it's over. You get one good one that you save, it's amazing. What do I think about Amsa saying Yoshi beats Marth? I disagree, but... I mean, I, I like that he thinks that because I like when people have faith in their character because uh, it's like, why else would you play them, you know? I feel like Dream Dreamland, so Dreamland is Yoshi's best stage in the matchup. I do think that, but it also gets my, like, I resign myself mentally to play out my game plan on Dreamland. And I think it gets me in the headspace to play better, even though if it's Yoshi's best stage, if that makes sense. I know that probably doesn't make that much sense. Did Jmook talk to you after the set? We chatted a little bit. He actually, <laughs> I've never talked to him that much, and we were posing for, uh, we were posing for the pictures at, uh, for the top eight, and he gave me a little tickle on my shoulder. He went, tickle, tickle, and then I laughed, and I said, I've never even talked to you that much, man. I was like, that was bold. I was like, I <laughs> he, he seems like a likable guy. <laughs> he was in good spirits. <laughs> I like him. I like him. I, he was bold. He just gave me a little, a little shoulder tickle. He's, he is a jokester. <laughs> Did you think that Jmook and Cody were gonna kiss during that? <laughs> I should read things in my head before I read them out loud. 